Okay, it is Thursday, May 14th. I got an email from Miss Smith saying that my appointment was at 1 o'clock. Uh, what's written on the card, my appointment card by the doctor, is 2 o'clock. So I'm going to go ahead and check to see which time is correct. If it's the 1 o'clock, I'm here. If it's 2 o'clock, I guess I can wait a little while extra. Uh, there's some crucial matters I still need to speak with. The doctor and course naturally now that finally again finally again finally the ADA representative will be here for me to speak with you know I need to avail myself of all the ADA violations that have occurred to me so let's see who's here that I can speak with okay apparently there's no one here I'm at, oh well, I don't know. I got something from Miss Smith saying one o'clock. Yeah, yeah, her appointment. And the doctor on his card said two o'clock. So I don't really know. That's why I'm here to check. They're waiting for you right there. Are they? Oh, wonderful. Sorry, I didn't know because. Well, no, you sent me something saying one o'clock. Yeah. And the thing on my doctor's card says two o'clock. Yes, it's constantly happening. So, you know, that was the whole point. I'm pretty sure, let me look, let me, let me, let me double check because I don't want to be falsely, you know, doing something wrong. Right. Okay. I've, you know, I've always been right, but what's it gotten me? Okay. Let's see, this thing says two. Okay, well, he can see you now, so. That's that right? fine, no, 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 okay. no, that's why I came because I wanted to be sure I wasn't going to be, not be seen. And I came to see the ADA representative also. But the ADA person showed up? It's right here. Lovely. Okay. All right, so. Hello. How are you? Do you know Darlene? Darlene? Debu, I'm you've not met. sure we've met in person, but, but if we have, I'm sorry, I okay. forgot you. But nice to meet you. This is Darlene from the ADA. You, you know Mr. Garza. Great. Great. Uh, there you go. I'm and just I know you have some here. other stuff that you want Thank to do, you. and I'm still working on it, okay? Uh, actually, it's, you know, that was something I was going to come ask you about. So let, let me just ask you real quickly. Uh, in this complaint process, they're going to call me in for an interview so I can go over my videotapes with them and everything, or is this going to be pretty much like the OCC and IA for the Sheriff's Department, which takes a complaint but no, doesn't follow up with a proper interview so that you can't tell them everything so that they can just dismiss it with, you know, risk management. They'll recreate the narrative, you know, put it in their terms, thank me for, you know, the abuse that I went through and disagree with me. I mean, I have plenty of risk management letters to that effect, and I just want to be sure... I'm not going to be put through the same bull that I've been put through for years, you know, that, that they'll actually call me in for an interview so that I can show them the videos, we can discuss it, we can go forward and we can, you know, go through all these things or is, it, or, is, or is the process going to be what it's been in the past where, like I said, all they do is create a new narrative, risk manage it away, never account, and then when I go to appeal they say, oh, it's closed, you can't do anything because that's our policy, you know, just the usual rigged methodology, so that's why I'm asking. Now, you know what my answer is, don't you, Mr. Garza? Well, of course. <laughs> what is it? Uh, I'm just doing my job. No. I don't know. The second one is right. Well, you, you, you haven't known about HIPAA law. You I haven't know. known about know. anything in compliance. I know, I know. I mean, do, do you understand how oxymoronical that is? Mm, I do. You do? Yes. So to somebody who has an adjustment disorder, who can't take disorder, do you realize you're just feeding them more disorder? I do. And then, and then by me trying to have faith in you... <laughs> I hope you continue to have faith in me because I do have your complaints and I am working with people who are going to guide me as to what to do next. And I cannot tell you right now what we're going to do next, but I'm okay. going to send you an email. Okay, but you do understand says, okay. why, you know, I want the process not to be rigged. I want to be able to come in, show my videos, talk to the okay. proper people, yeah. do everything. Thank you.